Okay, so you have um, actually another option if you do not want um, the child you're working with to touch um, a, in a certain place on the screen like the options or the edit. You can also use guided access to help you with that and obviously guided access also helps you so that they cannot press the home button and close out Proloco to go when you're working with them. So let me go through that with you and show you how that works. We're going to close Proloco to go. And we're going to open up settings and under general um, you'll go down until you see accessibility. We're going to touch accessibility we're going to scroll down until we see guided access. We're going to go ahead and click on that and we're going to turn it on. Um, and then the next thing you need to do is set a passcode so that the child will not be able to turn off guided access if they figure out how to triple click because triple click is what turns it on and off. So you're going to pick something that's very easy to remember. You have to enter it twice. So we're going to go ahead and close out settings and go back to Proloquo to go and try this out. So we're going to triple click to turn it on. One, two, three. It's asking for my passcode. So we're going to look at the options that we have here. Um, the ones that the option that I find um, the most useful here, besides got using it itself so that the child can't get out of it, is right down here. It says circle areas on the screen you would like to disable. So we're going to circle the areas that we do not want the child to have access to while they're in this app. So I'm going to circle the little button up at the top so that they cannot um, share anything. Um, let's say we don't want them to edit or use the option. I'm going to go ahead and circle those. And you'll see there's a little circle there where you can make it bigger or smaller. So you need to try to fill in as much as you can of each of the buttons so there's not spaces you're missing. And let's say uh, we don't want them to have access to that um, options, the, the, the view options either. So let's go ahead and enable that then. We're going to, we're going to, and mine says resume because I had it turned on earlier, but yours will say enable. So you're going to go ahead and click that. And now as you'll notice down at the bottom, these are grayed out. So the child can touch these and nothing happens. Um, this is grayed out as well. Nothing happens there. Now they can press that. You can still get to the typing view. They can... Um, I want still, more water. Still use People. all the other buttons that they want. So um, they just cannot use these areas that you circled and grayed out. So I think that's... Um, sometimes a quicker option for you if you're going to be using guided access and to have to go into the settings and turn the options off every time and then back on um, when you want to add or delete a button. So if you want to just quickly, um, you think of a button that you want to add, then you can just quickly triple click and you can end guided access and then you have access to all those buttons again. So that may be um, an easier option for you guys.